guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. What is this? Let me close out of this little ad from Facebook. All right, so today we are discover discussing the top eight best decks of Expanded right now. If you have no idea what happened, Toronto Regionals was last weekend, and we have seven new decks to talk about. Well, I say seven. It's, of course, eight decks made top eight, but in hindsight, it's kind of like five a little bit because out of these little chats there as well so they're not popping up but uh we're covering the decks that <clears throat> made top eight and if you're wondering we are using team fish knuckles website or well, it's my facebook page one thing we're trying to do is make all the top eight uh posts about this if you have no idea if you go to albums you can actually see i've been trying to collect them we got collinsville next up we have toronto so hopefully this weekend from greensboro we can complete the same thing and have all the decks on here and it's really cool because it's the players laid out you can kind of see their style their different bling and also i try to tag them if they like the facebook page i can tag them as well and that way you can ask some questions um so if you go here you can see noah like this one Will, Chris, you know, we got uh, so, oh, Sam like, Simon. So if they like the Facebook page and everything, we can actually tag them in these. So you can try to, like, ask them questions. I'm not promising they're going to answer, but if you ask me questions, I'll try my best to answer them, of course. But today, we're looking at top eight decks from Toronto. Like I said, there's only seven pitchers, and there's a reason why behind that. Um, so let's go over the decks. Also, you can always use Limitless if you want to see it break it down. But if you want to follow the Facebook page that's going to try to get all top eights from, I guess, the North America section, we'll have them on here on the Facebook page. And uh, we'll try to reach out. I had to reach out to like two or th three people, I think, to get their deck list. But here we are, guys. So let's just start off from the start. Let's go. <clears throat> um, let's just go from the start. So it, the list is actually Jimmy Pendarvis. He got first place with Night March. This is his fourth regional championship win and he's playing night march is a very you know we've seen night march before and it has kind of died off since control zork wasn't really a thing i think going into uh going to greensboro you better expect people playing karen people playing size toad they're gonna try their best to punish these night march decks uh so you know night march night march does 20 damage times amount of pokemon a bit of pokemon you just can probably with attack night march uh, of course, you got Lampets, Pokemon, and Joltik with Night March as those. You have Shaman to help set up to make your deck real fast. You have Marshadow to copy the, the, the copy, you know, Pokemon in your discard pile, which can copy Joltik for the most part, um, because Pokemon does need a D-Valley. But there's a new inclusion in that, of course, is going to be Electro Power. Electro Power is going to add, add additional damage to help you knock out some of the bigger numbers, like those Tang Team GXs are really, really cool. We see he played multiple Junipers, uh, one teammates, one in, one Guzma. You have to play the one, I mean, you have to play the one-ups, right? But teammates is broken to guarantee your DCE. Juniper is going to make your deck really fast. Order pad to get any card, to get an item card out of your deck. Uh, two choice bands, Flowstone. We have one Marshadow, which is a card we really haven't seen in Night March either, but it's a really good disruption card in Orin Guru to help you for those late games in because that is what Night March struggles. But there's so many outs. You have Compressor to thin your deck. You have Special Charge to get back your energies. Um, there's really, it wasn't really a lot of Faba that I saw um, going into it uh, from the top eight, from sure. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, there was some uh, Trevenant decks, and I know Jimmy faced two Trevenant decks, one in top eight and one in top four, and would win both of those matchups. So it is beatable. I haven't watched those um, vids. Um, I also, if you don't know, I'll have a link. It will be streamed this weekend. I'll try to link it Saturday before it starts. It's in Greensboro. Like I said, I forget what team is covering. It's the one that covered last weekend. LGN, LGN, I think it's something like that. Don't quote me on that. I know it's going to be Kirk. It's going to be John Kettler. And it is going to be, oh my goodness, I'm having a brain fart right now. Why can I always, oh my goodness. I know the streamer, she's from Canada, if I believe. And then there's Jeffrey Saran. There we go. I had to, had to think for a second. Um, I can't remember the, the one who's actually like doing the whole stream thing. My goodness. I'm sorry. It's LGN, I think is what it is. 
I don't legendary. I don't know. I'll have a link to the stream or to the to the Twitch where you can watch him. Anyways, we're getting off the subject. Whatever. That's gonna be this weekend. That's the big thing. in these, if you wanna watch some of the vlogs, they or their vids, they did have a YouTube thing where they have like all the decks going up. So we'll have that as well in the links. We'll try to give them as much shout out as we can, so that you can go rewatch the streams and get prepared for Greensboro this weekend. Greensboro is out of regionals. It's our first. Uh, North American special event, I think. I know it's America's first special event. Anyways, there's Jimmy's Night March deck. We know much about it. Oh, Douse Machine was Ace Pick of Choice. Very interesting. So I don't think. Um, yeah, people are just saying it. Incredibly talented. ARG. Um, I don't think Jimmy's an ARG. He's from someone's. He's from Dead Draw Gaming. But this is actually Michael Pramlot's pitcher. But they play the same 60. So shout out to ARG as well. Alright, so in second place, we have Noah, I don't know how to say his last name, playing a Zork Garbodor deck. Uh, so, very, I thought, I thought this was actually going to win. And the reason why I thought it was like, oh, Zork's in top eight. Like, he's the only Zork. He's got to win. Uh, we got Zork, you know, you got the Trubbish. You got the one, um, I think this is the foul play one. Yeah, this is foul play Zork. Um, it's not the, I don't think it's the Mind Jack one. I'm pretty sure it's the foul play one. I guess it's the only downside of using here, but I, I'm pretty sure it's the foul play one. Um, a very straightforward kind of deck. Some interesting things as we do see, you know, the Hypnotic Laser. That's a card we really don't see anymore in these Zorak decks. Uh, we do see Brigetti, which is cool. Just a one up. Um, there's one Compressor, one Communication, one uh, two Shame and two Lele. Two eggs, of course, propagate. Wobbuffet's in there to shut down kind of Archies. You know, if you can get you get the Wobbuffet against Archies, you pretty much kind of just win that matchup, unfortunately. Um, Klefki is for the Garbodor, so that way you can just, like, put Klefki on Garbodor, shut down tools for turn, and then back into your turn, you or turn, turn on abilities for turn, you're good to go. I think Wobbuffet's for Klefki. Don't, don't quote me on that. But I mean, I, I think Wobbuffet was for Blastoise, but don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, though. So just kind of slow him down um, for sure. Maybe something else. Maybe no one let us know. Um, but yeah, just kind of straight Zorak deck. Nothing too crazy. I guess 3 of each Seeker, whatever. Ditto's very interesting because it involves the Garbodor, Zorks, whatever. Um, I guess the one thing I don't see is there's no Acer roll of the deck. Outside of that, you know, we've got the Trash Lynch. We've got Zorak. It's a very just straightforward. We're going to punish you kind of thing. You know, we have Zork, we're Zork, we're Zork. We are Zork. We're going to ride as beating. We didn't see really that many Zorks. Um, but that's because I, I don't know why we didn't see right, a lot of Zorks. I don't know. It seems very interesting that we didn't see a lot of Zorks. It seems like it did have counters to Pika Rom and, and all that kind of stuff. I guess the one thing you struggle is like Soto Wudo, but you have Garver Toxin to shut that down. I don't know. Either way, congratulations Noah for making second place. Alright, so next up is going to be Will, Will and Chris. Now you notice it says third and sixth place because that, that's because they play the same 60. They play the same 60, and one made top four, the other made top eight. So it is a Trevna deck. This is a deck that we haven't really, we haven't really seen Trevna either coming into this you know this event, and we see this is a very very punishing Trevna deck for those like Night March for those Zork decks. We got four E Hammer, we got four Rescue Scarf. So we're gonna pick up our Trevenants over and over again. They're knocked out. We got SP on the D evolve. Ditto's really cute because now you have basically five Phantoms. Uh, Wobbuffet is really good to start in the active turn one as well. You know, you can turn one, put down a Wobbuffet, make your opponent can't use their abilities. If they are a psychic Pokemon, they can't use it, of course. Ace Trainer to punish your opponent when they take early prize cards. Four in because you're, you're gonna take slow knockouts, right? You're gonna be, you're gonna be slamming, you're gonna be doing your tree thing. You're gonna be spreading the love, doing 30 everywhere, just keep on spreading the love over and over again. I really, really like this deck a lot. There's two counter catchers, kind of bring a Pokemon to the bench. Or enhanced team to kind of disrupt your opponent. It is a very simple, consistent, consistent deck. Uh, I guess they're really interesting as well. It's just no Ultra Ball. It's just four Mysterious Treasure. We're playing all Psychic, but Ditto, that's fine. Uh, there is four Psychic, four Mysterious Energy, and one Counter Energy. Once again, we're going to be down on price cards the whole time. It is like super consistent, right? Four D Valley. There's really not much to say except they're pl they're playing a super consistent, straightforward deck. There's no gimmicks. There's nothing. I mean, the only gimmicks is maybe what counter catcher. That's not even a gimmick. That's just playing smart. Um, Espion is always really good. Marsh already put down a four. They got a bad hand. You're gonna win games that way. Very good deck. But will I be scared to play Trevnik going into Greensboro? I think yes. It depends on how much you read into the meta. 
Because now you see how this Trevna decks do well. You see Night March winning. You're like, okay, I gotta play Zark with Toad. I gotta play Zark with Karen, Toad, whatever. So, you know, Zork's gonna be the Trevenant, Toad, Karen's gonna be the Night March decks, whatever. But, will people further read to that, notice that, and play Buzz, well, then Trevenant becomes good again. I don't know. Depends on how far you wanna read it to the meta, but, it's just my, my little brain thought, but still, congratulations, Will, congratulations, Chris, both making top eight with their Trevenant deck. All right, so next up we got fourth place, and we got another Trevna deck. This is going to be a theme. Trevna was everywhere. It was like, I remember seeing the day one. I was like, whoa, it is everywhere. Uh, so we see another one. <laughs> so um, I, I literally read this as fourth place tree. Slam, Ertman. Oh, <laughs> Slam. <laughs> Cal, you're funny. All right, so once again, another Trevna. Now, this is a different variation. We see a, a Lolan Muck in the deck. We actually don't see Will and Chris playing it. We do see the Ditto. While this one, we'll see the Lolan Muck, which can shut down basic Pokemon's abilities, which could be really good. You can shut down eggs. I don't know how much eggs is going to be used against you. We do see four Enhanced Hammer. Once again, we are going to punish these Enhanced Hammer decks. We see the one Ace Trainer, one Guzma. Uh, we see a Cynthia and a Chorus. And I think the difference is... This list played three Juniper, this place in a Brigetti, this played two Juniper, Cynthia, and a Chorus. So that's a little difference there. Uh, there's a third Counter Catcher. There is no Counter Energy, so it's got a Counter Energy for Counter Catcher. Um, let's see what else they cut. Looks like a Wobbuffet for a Muck. And outside of that, it's the same deck. It is a same 60. How, did they work together? I have no idea. I don't know these players know each other. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. The decks are very similar. But, once again, we're looking at super consistent Trevna decks. 4-4-3. Oops, where'd we go? There we go. Back, oh, back to it. 4-4-3. Yes. It looks like the same exact thing. Also, with Wobbuffet, you can use his attack. Really good against Pokemon that have a lot of damage. Just pointing that out there. Same with here. Really good against Pokemon that have a lot of damage. What can you say about Trevna? Really good deck. Disrupt your opponent. Turn off, uh, turn off item cards. And you're going to be just, you know, you're going to be silent here and taking your time. And in your opponent, give them bad hands. They get full of item cards they can't use. And you're going to win games. So, congratulations to Sam for making four plays with his Trevenant deck. So, next up, we have Simon. And Simon played probably the most interesting deck of the tournament. I don't care what people say. He played a super interesting counter box deck. All right. So, if you don't know what counter box is, you know, you're playing four counter trees, you're playing your prisms, your rainbows, and you're playing these, like, different Pokemon, depending on the situation. There is three Mew. If you can copy abilities, we're good. That's what's going to be attacking. Uh, we've got some Subtle Widows. we got a Cabalion. I think it's a Revenge one. Shaman with a uh, Flippity Flap. White Kirim. <laughs> yeah, we got White Kirim in here. Sounds good. Uh, Mr. Mind for a bench, bench damage. I can't remember what Victini this is on top of my head, but... Victini is doing work. Uh, this is the Distortion Door Garatina. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is. Uh, the Tri... Look, if you missed it, you have to watch the round where the Triad is in there. I'm not going to give it away. But if you did not watch the stream this weekend, you missed probably one of the biggest moments with that Triad. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Oricorio is really good against Night March. Oranguru. Oranguru as well. And Sable, I think he lost to Zork. Garbodor in top eight. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think that's what happened. Either way, I think he would have lost top four playing against Trevenant. And, uh, or I think it was like Trevenant. I think he's going to play the Trevenant matchup. Yeah, obviously he's going to play his Trevenant. Yeah, because Zorg already, yeah. So he's going to play his Trevenant in, in top four. Um, but I, he definitely would have lost there. Like, 100% he would have lost. I, I remember the, the Trevenant player wanted them to win, so they are playing a Zorg. That's what it was. Um, and besides that, it's a really, like, counter deck, right? Four order pads. We're searching for all of our item cards. We're playing some counter catchers, some counter gain, uh, a field bar, a town map, a switch, special charge, battle presser, computer search. It looks a lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Maybe we'll play this next week. We we gotta try. If you're going to Greensboro and you can master this deck and figure out how like everything kind of works with math, the Giratina is really cute. It brings people's eight, uh, HP down to ten, which might not seem like a lot, but 
if you watch the stream this weekend, you could definitely see how it did make a difference. That 10 damage definitely, I think it was like something like help take a knockout, maybe like a set of Wudu or something. I can't remember what it was on his arc or something like that. Um, but still, it was very interesting to see. I can't remember what the big team he did. It's not the, maybe it is the V-Blast one. No, I don't think a V-Blast people play because... I don't know, the Victini's the only one I'm not sure about, but everything else I know. It's it's interesting you playing the Psychic Mr. Mom, not the Fairy. Because I think the Fairy one resists Dark. Uh, Sableye is never Junk Hunt. You just Junk Hunt your stuff back into your hand. Really nice. Uh, so yeah, very, very interesting deck that we have never seen. Like, in a, I don't... Maybe ever? But we, I think we feel like we've seen some Counterbox decks. But still, very interesting Counterbox deck. I love this a lot. Congratulations, Simon, for playing a really interesting deck. And I'm excited to see what those taking to Greensboro next weekend. Uh, like I said, I think you lose very hard to Trevenant. You probably beat Zork, though. I'll tell you that much. All right, so going to the same place, we have we have Archie's powered by the one and only Russell Lepar from someone's PC. And I remember he even made a post saying, you know, this is my first weekend playing it. But... It's a very interesting take on the Archie's deck, right? It is Archie's Waylord. We know that as the list they already played. But now we see Giratina, we see Paco GX, and we see Onyx. Onyx is really cute. You just notice that they're like Land Crush, 120. We are going to destroy Pikarom decks. Like, that's what it's for, right? 240? Yeah, you're just destroying Pikachu decks. You can use Magic Carp and Waylord to one-shot a Zorak GX. Uh, and I guess, you know, Onyx does help with that. But... With Magic Carp Wailer, you do need a choice man, which Russell only played one. And you know, like his little fancy computer search, his little pink computer search, that's really cool. Um, but it's just a simple, you know, we're going to get our Blast Waves out, and then we're going to Delusion go crazy. Uh, I remember he beat a Trevenant, and I was like, how is he going to do this? And I remember his opponent had a Wild Fin list only active, and Russell did like a billion different things. And then he topped, oh, he actually used Viridian Force to... Uh, uh, yeah, it was like Viridian Force to get into the energy or to get energy or something like that. It was really cool. It was really smart play by Russell, of course. I can't remember exactly what he did. But he mimicked, he kind of like made his hand where if his opponent sent up a Trident next turn, he would get the the Ar Archies out. And that's what he did, pretty much. And that was really cool. And he kind of beat the Trevenant that way. Um, once again, really good games on stream. Um, Russell was on them. You have to watch Russell games. They're really, really good. Um, I think this is four, eight, nine waters. Four, uh, four Battle Crusher, four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker, four Trainers, well, four Superior, two Order Pad. I remember he just got two order pads, and I think he just threw, like, an onyx in there because he said, you know what, I'm going to flip tails and order pad. Give me something useful. I remember he said that in the interview. Uh, so congratulations, Russell. I'm glad to see Tryhard Russ coming out this year and destroying the field. In last place, well, we have another Shroud deck. Now, this one is another totally different deck, which is interesting to say, right? Like, Trevenant, you know what this is, right? But this is actually Trevenant Pyroar. And if you don't know, Pyro has this really cool ability, which makes it basic Pokemon can't hurt it, right? I'm thinking that's what it is. Hold on, let's look up Intimidating. It's like Pyro Intimidating Main. I'm pretty sure it makes it where basics can't hurt you. It's a very old card from Flash, right? right? All base Pokemon can't hurt you. So that's very interesting. So now you have this like Pokemon that can't be hurt by basics. You might be thinking, Josh, why is this so much of a big deal? Well, if you notice, Night March was being played, and this can also destroy the Pikachu decks, because there's no longer Hex in decks, right? Hex Maniac is not a card that exists anymore, so you can't shut down Pyroar. The only way you can kind of shut it down is by using, like, Garbodor, right? You do have a Lola Muck, but Lola Muck shuts down basics. Pyroar is not a basic. We see Scoop Up Cyclone, a Ace Pip we have not seen yet. Everybody's playing either, you know, Computer Search, or Dallas Machine, and we see a spec to pick up one of Pokemon back at your hand. We actually see Ultra Ball on the list. We need Ultra Balls, those, because we're playing a Pyro or a, a line. Okay. We see three Dimension Valley, three Rescue Scarf. It looks like three Enhanced Hammer, of course, to beat the Zorak decks. Um, Super Ronin, Juniper, Brigetti, Teammates, Ace Trainer, Guzma. Everything else pretty much makes sense. I love that you can play Blend Energies in this deck. Because now you can blend your power and start attacking with it, which is really cool because it's a fire energy. But then you have to attach two psychic energies. But if you're playing against a deck that only has basics, you slowly get out of power and you win games. So guys, there we go. There's a top eight list from um, this past weekend. Like I said, it's only seven pitchers, but um, 
Chris and Will. No, nope, wrong list. Chris and Will both play the same 60. So it's fantastic. We saw Trevor to make one, two, three, four different placements and a, a Night March deck. So like I said, if I'm going to Greensboro this weekend, I'm highly considering playing um, Zork. Zork is always, I think, is the right play for me. I would always just like, all right, it's Zork. I can just win games. And I think going to this weekend, you definitely still play that, right? Now, are you scared of Trevenant? That's the big question. I think my, the answer is still no. I think you're not scared of Trevenant. I think you just beat them. Yes, they're playing four Enhanced Hammer. But remember, they're playing Enhanced Hammer. They are not playing Fabas. This means you can eventually get maybe a Garbodor out somehow. Maybe Guzma. Maybe touch an early Floodstone. I don't think these lists are playing float or Field Blowers. This list, not playing Field Blower. Not playing Zerosic. This list, not playing Field Blower. Not playing Zerosic. Um... This list, once again, not playing Field Blower, not playing Zerosic. So if you get a turn one tool on a Trubbish, you get your Garbodor out, you can use your abilities forever, and then you can get another Trubbish out, and then maybe another Power Maybe you take a, um, something out of Sam's book, right? You look at, oh, too far. You take a look at, sorry, not Sam's, Noah's book, and you play, you know, the split. But maybe play a 2-2-2 line, or like a 3-2-2 line, or something like that. Maybe play something aggressive like that. Maybe cut out the Wobbuffet. fit. I don't know how neat of the Wobbuffet fit is. I don't know how neat of the Cluff key is. You already play Field Blower ready to get back your get back your abilities if needed. And you play Dust Machine. So you have ways to get back your abilities to get rid of the Field Blower. I don't know. If I was going this weekend, I'm playing Zork. That's what I think the best deck is. But that's me. I'm not going this weekend. Also, just love Zork. It is something I've always played. And plus, at North Carolina last year, I got 11 plays with Pyroar. I mean, I Pyroar. Did not play Power Blaster. I played Zork like Lycan Rock, so that's what I play. Which version of Zork? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Ask yourself, right? You can play the Toad Karen Garbodor, maybe variant, maybe just a Toad Zork variant. But then again, you lose Lucimine, you lose all the control stuff. But we don't care about that. We're trying to be just Night March decks with Karen and stuff like that. You go the Zork Garbodor route. Well, we saw that, but Jimmy too old. Noah. In that. So I don't know if that's the way to beat him, right? I don't think the Garbodor is going to be the way to beat it. Some other interesting things you could play as well. I personally like the idea of going to a Zork Lucario deck this weekend uh, because you are expecting to have a Zork presence, right? You're expecting this very Zork meta, and now you can use Zork Lucario to actually counter the Zork decks. That's what I would play. That's my preference for the weekend. I play Zork Lucario. Maybe once again you put one Toad and one like Karen or something. Even then, I think you're fine. Maybe I don't know. Night March is definitely gonna be heavily anti, and I don't think anybody's as good as Jimmy. Maybe Pram. Pram's pretty good at Night March. So maybe we'll see Night March again. I don't know. I would definitely be scared to play Night March. Like I think I'd be more scared because I think now. And maybe more people play Blastoise. I don't think people were hyped on the Pikachu Zekron, right? People were like, all right. Pika's on Pika Rom is the best deck going to this weekend. Blah blah blah. But who knows? It's a new weekend. We're go we're gonna be in America this weekend. We're not gonna be in Canada. So we're probably gonna see a totally different meta. We're not gonna I think you know, I think, you know, this list I think was probably by some Canadians. I think um I'm trying to remember this list. I think Simon's probably the only guy in the world playing this deck. So you don't have to worry about that. But I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what happens. Will we see as much Trevenant? I don't think so. I think Trevenant's going to be gone. I think you're going to see an increase of fighting decks. But we tried to see that last weekend. We saw a bunch of people bringing the Hitmonchan decks. And, you know, a lot of people did make day two, but didn't make top eight. So who knows? But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot to go on. Like I said, pay attention to the links down below to the LGN. I think that's what it is. Legendary Gaming Network. And then pay attention to that. I'll leave a link to their Twitch and to the YouTube channel. So check that out. Like the F Team Fish Douglas Facebook page. And that way you can follow along. Um, <clears throat> next week, I'm going to post a top 8 list. Go like the Facebook page. Go like Patreon down below so you can vote for Fan Friday if you're to hear the song. It'd be cool. I think right now we have three Patreons. I don't know how I'm feeling Patreon. I, I liked it a lot, but it's just not working out. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow for our Expanded Thursday. We talk about deck that we didn't even show this show this today. Show today? Yeah. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye.